some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we will receive a lesson on how to be a complete inept loser from a wannabe frauditor. Now, you may remember this guy from a few months back in December when this guy was taken in for obstruction of an investigation. Now, he is a full-fledged frauditor, and he is now giving lessons. So now, let's sit back, relax, and try to absorb the stupidity that he is trying to present upon us. Requirements of auditing. Your presence... Yeah, remember that lesson right there, people. You gotta be the most annoying, most obnoxious person in the room, the kind of person that you want to toss out the door. That's lesson number one. Because it's not about trying to get people to like you, it's about trying to get arrested, which is what he's going to get into later on. A little bit of education. And by a little bit of education, does that mean just the basic skills for reading and almost no comprehension skills of any material that you do happen to read? Which happens to lead to a lot of cherry picking on your part to make yourselves look intelligent in front of your uh, misled followers. So please carry on with your pathetic tips on how to be a loser. And most importantly, a camera. Now, that being said, there are some healthy tips you can take. Um, be prepared to go to jail. That means, number one, notify friends and family members. Yeah, that may work for you in your situation, but in my particular case, if I had gone out and told my dad that I was going to get arrested that day, uh, yeah, he would disown me right on the spot. But that's only because he's a perfectly normal person who doesn't want their children to go to jail for absolutely no purposes whatsoever. Um, that you're going to be auditing at whatever location you choose and that you might be in jail. Number two, memorize a bail bondsman's number. And I'm sure your local bail bondsman will be very grateful for doing that because he's going to be making a lot of money off of your stupidity. Especially if you are a repeat offender who tends to get incarcerated quite a bit. Yeah, it'll be your bail bondsman that'll be laughing all the way to the bank because of your idiocy. Um, that's always going to be helpful because they may not have it posted there even though they're supposed to. Memorize an attorney's number. Even maybe have one uh, prepared. You know, put some money on retainer with him. Ah, uh, yes. Sound legal advice from a complete moron. Don't rely on yourself to be your own lawyer. Find somebody who knows what the hell they're doing. <sighs> Wear lots of layers, okay? As many as you can. Extra shirts. You can wrap one of those shirts up and make a pillow out of it. They don't give you pillows. Yeah, dude, I can understand why, because you know what? Jail is not exactly meant to be a luxury hotel. Um, no strings. Some jails apparently will take your clothing apparel away from you if they have strings. Um, totally logical on their part. Um, what's next? Oh, yeah, snacks, drinks, smokes, whatever you do, whatever your thing is, it's going to make you comfortable when you get out. Um, there may not be stores open or available when you get out. Uh. Yeah, that's totally understandable because I keep on hearing that the food in jail sucks. But then again, it's not meant to be a pleasurable experience. They don't want you coming back. If possible, a backup phone because they may take your phone and you may not have the ability to call anyone. Where are you going to put that backup phone at? In your prison suitcase? Um, and a backup phone will give you access to your funds and will also allow you the ability to get an Uber or whatever you need to get home. I know this is a bit rushed and I sound a bit off. I'm still not well. And there just so happened to be probation down the street. So I thought the best way to show you how to audit is to just go ahead and do it. And that would make a great video too. See lady cop over there watching us. 
they took off of course but one last update uh, make sure that you try to stay calm and patient because uh, they're going to say all kinds of things that are untrue try to stress you out if you have anxiety issues like I do that's really going to mess with you um, yeah, they're gonna say things that are untrue. Uh, dude, I suggest you and your brethren take a look in the mirror, because you all tend to lie quite a bit yourselves. Stay calm. They will let you out, whether they say it or not. And well, there you have it, folks. With these tips and many more, you too can be a fraudatard loser and be alienated from everybody who's a rational thinking human being. But hey, I guess we all gotta have our hobbies. So at any rate, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.